Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Panda family. In this video, I'll be going to explain you linear and non-linear wave shaping circuits. Before I explain linear and non-linear wave shaping circuit, you need to understand what is wave shaping circuit. Let me take one example. Let us use rectifier circuit. So in rectifier circuit, input will be AC signal, output will be DC signal. So here we are changing shape of waveform from AC to DC with the use of rectifier. Let us have one more example. If you use inverter. So in inverter circuit, input will be DC, output will be AC. So we are changing shape of waveform from DC to AC with the use of inverter. Let us take one more example. If you use cycloconverter, then input will be AC, output will be AC. But using cycloconverter, we can change frequency of input to output. So in a way, you can say as if we change shape of waveform from input to output, then that will be wave shaping circuit. See, based on application, we should be using wave shaping circuits. Here, I'll explain you linear and non-linear wave shaping circuit. So what I'll do is I'll compare linear wave shaping circuit and non-linear wave shaping circuit based on different parameters. Let us have first parameter that is components. See in linear wave shaping, we will be using linear components. Those linear components could be resistors, capacitors and inductors. One should know resistors, capacitors and inductors are linear component. How it is linear that even I'll explain you in this video itself. See non-linear wave shaping circuit that will be using non-linear components. So that could be diodes, transistors, you can use MOSFETs, SCRs, TRIAC, UJT. So all those devices are non-linear devices. Now non-linear devices means what? Non-linear devices means those devices are working with respect to different conditions. Like diode is working in two regions, forward bias, reverse bias. In forward bias, diode will be on for that anode should be positive with respect to cathode. In reverse bias, diode will be off. For that, you will have to keep diode as per anode negative with respect to cathode. Likewise, in transistor, there are three regions of operation active, cutoff and saturation. And to keep that in different regions, there are different conditions that you need to apply. In a way, you can say diode, transistors, MOSFET, SCRs, all those devices are non-linear devices, right? So as if you make circuit with the use of diode, transistors, SCR, MOSFET, then those circuits will be non-linear circuit. As if you use only resistors, capacitors and inductors in circuit, then those circuits will be linear wave shaping circuits, right? Let us talk about VI relationship when it comes to linear wave shaping circuit. See here relationship in between voltage and current that should be linear, right? As if you talk about resistor, then in resistor voltage and current both are having zero phase difference. Right. In resistor, voltage and current both are having zero phase difference. When you use inductor, then in pure inductor, current will be lagging by 90 degree with respect to voltage. And as if you use capacitor, then voltage will be lagging by 90 degree with respect to current. So here, VI characteristic is linear. Only phase difference is there in between voltage and current. Right. So here VI relationship with resistor, capacitor and inductor that is linear. Only phase difference that appears with resistors, phase difference is zero. In inductor, current lags by 90 degree with respect to voltage. In capacitor, voltage lags by 90 degree with respect to current. In non-linear, there are so many devices like diode, transistor, MOSFET. All the devices are operated with different conditions, right? Here I have just written working of diode as per on and off. To keep it on, you need to keep it in forward bias. To keep it off, you need to keep it in reverse bias. Now let us take one example 
so it will gives you more clarity so here if you talk about circuit example with linear then there can be so many examples here i have considered low pass filter so you see to make low pass filter what i have done is i have connected inductor over here in series and here output is taken across r if you want to make low pass filter using rc network then you will have to connect capacitor over here and resistor over here so that is also you can make low pass filter in a way you see with this circuit we are using inductor and resistor only that's why it is linear wave shaping circuit which is low pass filter over here that you can see see here one example of non linear that i have given that is example of clipper circuit right in which you see here i have used diode so as i have used diode over here what happens see in forward bias in forward bias you will be observing this diode will be on so during positive half cycle this diode will come in forward bias at that time output across diode that will be zero voltage ideally and in reverse bias here negative cycle will be there so negative cycle that will appear across output right so here we will be clipping here we will be clipping forward by a cycle that is positive half cycle right so here we are using diode that's why this clipper circuit is non linear wave shaping circuit here let us take some applications so as if you talk about applications then with linear wave shaping we can have so many applications like integrator differentiator voltage divider current divider so we can have so many linear wave shaping circuits by using resistors capacitors and inductor we can make integrator differentiator high pass filter low pass filter right voltage divider current divider in non linear wave shaping circuit we can have so many applications like clipper clamper rectifier amplifier right even i have told you few more applications like you can have cyclo converter you can have inverter right so in a way you can say in linear wave shaping circuit we use linear components like resistors inductors and capacitors only in non linear wave shaping circuit we can use resistors inductors and capacitor but along with that non linear devices are also used right so in non linear wave shaping circuit it is not like we are not using resistor capacitor and inductor that we will be using over here but non linear devices is also added over here like diode transistor mosfet scr right so based on applications we will be reshaping our output right so you need to see what is the application like if you have input that is ac you wanted to have output that is dc then you will have to use rectifier if you have input that is dc you wanted to have output that is ac then you will have to use inverter if you want to change frequency you will have to use cyclo converter so based on application we will be selecting circuits but first of all you need to understand what is linear wave shaping and what is non linear wave shaping in non linear wave shaping we will be using non linear devices right those devices usually made up of semiconductor materials right like diode transistor mosfet and in non linear in linear wave shaping we will be using linear components only like resistors inductors and capacitor i hope now you have got the point like what is non linear and what is linear wave shaping still if anything that you would like to share please note it down in comment section i'll be happy to help you thank you so much for watching this video